Hi, so this is part two of the uh, 630 meters, <coughs> 475 kilohertz uh, tuner. And we lacked a couple of things on the first video, which we're going to uh, correct. Uh, I don't know if you can see down there, that's actually my well casing uh, here. We're on a, on a lake. If you look through there, there's a lake and mountains and stuff. Uh, but uh, that also is uh, down here is a very good earth. It's not connected to uh, the... Um, the mains earth 110 volts here and we've actually got a connection to that and there's a large huge amounts of radials in that uh, forest there there's a couple about a couple of hundred uh, radials going to the base of my Marconi and I'm sort of stealing uh, a wire at the moment you can see that and that's running back to the shack here and we're gonna look at uh, what we should have told you about yesterday and uh, it stayed up overnight. There's another wire coming from the other end of the radial field. And there's the uh, very thin wire that's still up in the air. Anyway, what we didn't talk about yesterday was the, um, the earth, or the ground side of this tuning unit, which is vitally important, because it's, uh, you need one of those as a return for your aerial current that's going up there. Uh, you need to collect it around the earth radial field and bring it back to the tuner. It's all part of the circuit. So effectively, what you should have is something like, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's look at it. So there's your vertical wire, and we'll go back to that in a minute. And there's, your, there's a ring around the base of it, and that's like an earth ring, and uh, soldered to it, or brazed to it, a number of earth radials that are going out. The more the merrier, the more you have, the better, the longer they are, the better, up to around a quarter wave or so. Uh, not uh, as they're on the ground doesn't make much difference, but the more you have closer into the base of the aerial It collects that's is where all the current is and it returns the uh, the current back to the tuning unit and uh, makes a good circuit But I can't do that because this is uh, I can't put this vertical wire in the middle of nowhere because this is a holiday aerial tuning unit a vacation tuning unit, so this is a compromise and so I've just tapped into the well casing and I've also tapped into the radial field that's out there for the other Marconi. Now if you're really naughty and you don't have that, you can't run a, a wire down outside to an earth ray into a, you know, into a rod or something, which is, yeah, so-so. Um, the last resort, probably naughty, is to use uh, what there is at very low power. It's not so much of an issue. Uh, what I did here was I cut the... the, the uh, live and neutral off the plug here and actually just using the earth and this connects to the, uh, the point on here last resort probably not recommended probably highly dubious connecting your AC earth which is dirty noisy yeah we try to keep our radio receiver earth and this earth as far away as possible isolating them but uh, if you don't have anything else that's what you could do so so here's your vertical wire, very short, very inefficient. And somebody said to me, well, why have you only got a short wire? Why don't you do something with it? I said, well, this is the vacation. This is, I'm trying to hide this. This is going to be a subterfuge and a very, very thin wire. And I don't want anybody to see it. So I can't really do much more than that. There's going to be a palm tree over here somewhere holding it up. And it may be just about vertical. Now, Typically what you do is, uh, if you want to have a more efficient antenna, is you add top loading to your wire. It's actually like a capacitance to ground. And uh, the, uh, what it does is the efficiency of the vertical wire is greatly improved. Uh, probably, yeah, if, I, if you saw something like this, by a lot, by huge amount. So a single wire, not so good. Adding top capacitance to it obviously changes the, the tuning uh, arrangements but uh, improves it and if you're very very good you obviously want to keep the uh, thing away from the tree here because it's obviously high impedance but you can add more wires at the top like this and we'll join them together and you get that uh, classic uh, non-directional beacon top loaded uh, T antenna now if you don't have that you can obviously go and do something else you could actually go uh, vertical and go uh, make an inverted L um, just nearly as good and the radial length should uh, go out as far as the length of the the top section 
but again the more earth radials you have the number underneath and the more even if they're short at the base of the uh, the vertical that's what really makes a difference so the other thing that I missed yesterday well a couple of things I missed I must have changed that to make it a variable and there we look there's a symbol for earth or ground vitally important even though it's connected to the 50 ohm side this is the return for the RF current that's radiated back out the antenna uh, so that's that um, so in the real world if you're a, a full-time occupation radio ham with lots of real estate you would do something like this add lots of radials it doesn't really matter how thick the the wire is because the current is shared amongst all these as a return you could add uh, uh, earth rods here although they doesn't really make a huge amount of difference add earth rods at the end makes a bit more difference and then if you do what I do is you actually connect every one of these off at the perimeter and this is like two or three hundred feet away all these are connected together and uh, and that actually helps to stabilize the uh, the field so if it rains and things having a large earth radio radial mat like this with you know maybe a hundred earth radials if you're lucky or 48 or 24 or 12 or 8 or whatever you can get actually can stabilize the field and the tuning so uh, anyway so we can't do that so we're left with just uh, literally uh, in my case it's going to be uh, a tree and uh, there's my tree and there's the uh, insulator up the top of the tree and it's sort of sloping down and there's my tuning unit and then uh, into the transmitter so uh, less than optimum and then that's uh, on the earth side that's connected back to uh, my uh, well casing this is a well casing here and then that's also connected uh, on the earth side here here that's also connected out to my radial my radial field which is uh, over here somewhere and got lots of uh, radials away from it uh, temporary uh, not efficient wouldn't be using it for a long term but uh, this is purely for vacation purposes uh, I think my thumb has been on the uh, in the middle of the video for the last 10 minutes so my apologies if it has anyway so uh, we've rectified the the fact that uh, this is now variable and we've added the uh, the earth symbol or ground signal as a return vitally important you have that the better the earth uh, the better the the radial field the more efficient it is uh, the second thing is uh, straight wire not all the capacitance on it not very effective at this frequency uh, that's all I'm going to have for my holiday but if uh, in the real world what you want to do is uh, make uh, top capacitance adding just adding top uh, like a T or an L makes a huge difference to the efficiency uh, anyway that'll do for now Kilo Lima 7 Lima Wasilla Alaska wishing you a very good evening thank you